Hi, my name is Gavin. I'm an M&A advisor and I help value and sell low, mid-market and small businesses. Today, let's talk about the secrets of EBITDA exit multiples in LBO models. Calculating EBITDA exit multiples in a leveraged buyout LBO model is crucial for making informed investment decisions. Here's how to do it. One, historical trading. Multiples, analyze the historical range of multiples the company has traded at. This provides valuable insights into market sentiment and valuation trends. Two, ROI key and growth analysis. Examine how the return on invested capital, ROIC, and growth rates have evolved throughout the holding period. Changes in these metrics can impact exit multiples. Three, baseline scenario. Start with the baseline purchase multiple assumption. This serves as a reference point. By incorporating these strategies, you can navigate the complexities of EBITDA exit multiples and enhance the accuracy of your LBO model. What other techniques have you found effective in LBO modeling? Let's share our expertise. Whether you're looking to buy or sell, I'm here to assist you every step of the way. Reach out to me directly at 860-300-3683 or drop me an email at jakadaba at tworld.com. Let's start a conversation and explore the opportunities ahead.